since Hurricane Dorian swept up the East Coast, leaving destruction in its path. And now we're facing another possible storm on the East Coast. Meanwhile, communities are still recovering from Dorian. Ten on your side, Andy Fox checked in with residents and emergency management on how cleanup efforts are going on the hardest hit Ocracoke Island. Yeah, they are ongoing every single day, and it is a mess. Just destruction down there. But the big concern is the request for federal funding for cleaning up. Why it hasn't been sent in yet? And what's being done to get federal financial help quick? This picture says it all. Dorian's storm surge at the top blows away other hurricanes past. It was like an absolute mess. I mean, it was, uh, I, I'd never seen anything like it. On FaceTime, we spoke with Ocracoke resident Morty Gaskell, shocked by the flooding waters, the devastation. Water just came up so fast. It was absolutely stunning. I mean, I was just, I was just watching like random stuff gas cans, coolers, all that just floating down the street. These pictures taken Saturday by Keith Acri with North Carolina Emergency Management. A lot of people on the island lost their vehicles. Um, you know, when you see a lot of vehicles that were pushed around by the storm surge and deposited in places they, they shouldn't be. Gaskell's vehicle also swallowed up by Dorian's rising water. And he's like many others on Ocracoke. They need help. Most people on this island do not have flood insurance because it's so expensive they can't afford it, mm -hmm. including myself. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how I'm going to afford to, like, fix my house once I get it ripped out. So that's, that's the extent of my frustrations right now. Sarah Tolson has the same frustration as others on Ocracoke and Hatteras Island. We have had no declaration that has been signed so that FEMA can get in and support these people who have, who are taxpayers and vote. We called North Carolina Emergency Management and Keith Acri says the request for a major disaster declaration was sent to FEMA today. Typical process for trying to move this along as quickly as we can. This is probably a, probably even a faster than normal process. Back on the island, you know, Sarah your, Tolson, your back on the street. Your stoves, your refrigerators, uh, the school is flooded, the library is flooded, post office is flooded, the um, ferry dock at the north end is, is no longer there. Yeah, you know, we had to get their video. It's so difficult to get there. Tonight at 6, more video on the ground in Ocracoke. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.